Hey guys, it's NST. In this video, we're gonna go over why zero days are so important. So when you're traveling, you might be traveling for a month or a year or however long it is. If it's only a week or two, it's not too big of a deal. Uh, but even with two weeks, like say, you travel for two weeks and you have to go back to work or back to school, I would recommend having at least two days to kind of like catch up, mentally relax, kind of go through all the memories that you just created and just have two days to kind of zone out before you go back and do anything else. But when you're traveling for a month or say a year or a few months, the a big thing for me that's important is having zero days. So after, you know, say you're hiking on a long trip for a month or two, or you're just going on traveling, going and doing stuff after stuff after stuff, it's good to just step back and be able to relax, not do anything, not see, see any sights, not go run around and drink or do whatever it is you like to do when you're traveling, but have a day or two just to maybe even get a nice hotel you know maybe go go sit in a hot tub or go to a spa whatever it is and just relax you know maybe it's once a month you take four days off or twice a month you take a few days off or you know maybe you get sick and you're just like i'm gonna take a week and do nothing just relax you know i actually had it um uh, one time when i was traveling i was going from india to nepal and in india i think i got um, some kind of stomach flu from the water whatever it was um, dysentery or something and nothing would stay in me I, I couldn't anything I ate came up one way or the other and I was sick for a week or so and so when I got to Kathmandu Nepal I took I was only gonna be there for about a week before I was gonna go do some sites and stuff and I ended up staying there for two weeks just relaxing eating sleeping as much as I could you know listening to music having good conversations with other travelers and it was like a week of zero days like a week and a half a week of zero days it was super super relaxing and i actually really enjoyed it because i didn't do much i mean i went to the monkey temple and i saw a couple of other things but it was great because it was just like i'm just here i'm in the zone out i'm not worried about doing anything i'm not worried about making videos i'm not worried about seeing all the sites you just kind of you know, just go with the flow and chill out. And uh, I don't always like to be like that, but if you're sick or if you've been going 100 miles an hour the whole time, then it's it's good to slow down, step back and relax. You know, every now and again, depending. Some people have a little bit more stamina and they can go longer periods of time without relaxing. Or if you plan in your trips, you know, like I try to, in the mornings, I try to do some writing, I try to do some editing, um, I do my journaling and maybe reading. If I, you can set a few hours in the morning just to kind of wake up, get some work done, you can do some stuff that keeps your mind focused and thinking logically. It's good to, it kind of balances out all that free spirited doing, you know, whatever it is you're doing. It kind of keeps you, um, keeps you improving yourself and keeps you from, you know, kind of um, mentally and physically kind of going down. You know, I, I didn't do it too much last year, but a big thing when it comes to zero days, whatnot, is uh, maybe you don't feel in shape, and maybe for you, um, a zero day on a zero day, you might just want to go running or work out or exercise. I try to incorporate that, you know, throughout my traveling every day. And if you can do that, it makes you feel 100% better. It sounds weird, like exercise. No, that's not gonna make me feel better. But no, for me, sometimes when I'm getting sick or you know, when I just feel tired or unmotivated or lazy, I go out on a run, I go do a workout, and that just boosts my energy. And I feel like, oh, I got all this energy, I'm focused. I got all these endorphins running through me. You know, let's go, let's go do, let's go do this project. Let's go see this place. You know, it just kind of, ah, it kind of gives you like a boost of energy that's that's natural and, and, and healthy. So I definitely recommend, you know, having zero days uh, along with exercising, and just you know like if you're traveling for long term or even for two weeks just set time aside to relax to focus to kind of meditate on you know what you're trying to do where you're going and just what you know what really matters in in the trip or in life and it's just you know it's really eye-opening to have these experiences to do kind of these things to have good conversations and just travel and see the world and 
become more and more of who you're meant to be. All right, I'm ranting. I'm gonna go on and on if I keep on talking, but um, hope to, hopefully you guys like this video. If you did, um, please comment, like, and if you wanna watch more videos about my traveling and you know how to travel and kind of tips on traveling, just subscribe, hit that bell icon, and you'll be able to see more videos. And you'll be notified every time I post a video. I post about three videos a week. And yeah, that's it. This has been NST. Never stop traveling, guys. Peace out.